Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the store at 303 684 3404. We're going to take a look at a very unique Freightliner today. This is a 2018 Freightliner M2 106. This truck is four wheel drive. The conversion is Summit Hauler. The truck has just under 23,000 miles. So as we take a look from the side view, you can see just how big and monstrous this truck is. This truck was originally sold as a two-wheel drive and was taken to Tulsa Truck down in Oklahoma and, was per and had the four-wheel drive professionally put on. But you can see just how big and tall this truck is. Some things we can look at from the side view as well. This truck does come with auto chains located right underneath there. So if we find ourselves in an extreme situation, we can kick those auto chains on to assist us to get out. Now the way they work, there's an elbow under there. So the chain comes out and actually hits the ground and you drive over it. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to use those, 10 to 15 miles an hour is going to be about it. The batteries are located underneath here. Here is the def tank, which holds up to six gallons. You can get about 300 miles per every one gallon of def. It comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one on each side. As the truck is sitting in rest, as it is now, that fuel balances itself out. However, when you go to fuel up your tank, you're gonna to wanna to do that independently. Now, as we walk on forward and take a look directly in front of the truck. And we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Tons of aftermarket st stuff was put on this truck. For example, this extremely large and tough grill. Tow hooks located on each side. In addition, a winch located right here. As we work our way on up, we can see the windshield comes with 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding. And as we go up even a little higher, we can see a row of lights. So at night, this truck really lights itself up. Now to put, to get our grill down, there's straps on each side. And it simply comes on down and is out of the way. As we take a look underneath the hood, we find the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This engine offers 350 horsepower and 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. Some things we can see underneath here, where we see yellow is things that we can check. Right there is where we would check the oil. This is the fuel filter and water separator located here. We can also see the front air suspension. Plus, I showed you where the batteries are. If we are in a situation where we need to jump them, we can actually jump it from right here as compared to tearing everything apart where the batteries are to jump them. This truck is a metallic black, so there are tiny specks of gold in it as well. One thing unique about the Summit Hauler conversions, when we saw back, we saw we have the three compartments 
which that makes gives it the largest storing capacity of any brand on the market. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, the seats are both heated and vented, and those buttons are along the armrest. Underneath here is the switch for the auto change you and I visited about. You can start the truck from the ground. So you turn your key about halfway and let those gauges go all the way over and all the way back. And then start the truck from there. Other things we can see, a PDI scanner was installed right there. And that simply helps monitor things under the hood while we're in our travels. We can adjust the steering wheel using that pedal right there. In addition to that, right here is a kill switch. And what that does is shut off all electric current that may be strained through the truck. So it's just a good practice to get into when you're done with your travels to go ahead and hit that kill switch. This is a trickle charger located underneath there. If you find yourself in your travels and you want to run the DVD or other things that the battery requires, you can plug that into a 110 outlet, which assists the batteries in maintaining power. Underneath here is the block heater. As we take a look in the back seat, as you can see, it does make down into a bed and we can put it back up with the press of a button. Now, as we focus on the bed of the truck and take a look in the front storage compartment, you can see it comes with a connection for an air hose and that is a gauge for the air suspension. The top of the truck is already lined for protection. This is a large investment, so that's gonna protect it for years to come. Now, as we take a look directly behind the vehicle, we'll start at the top and work our way down. At the very top, you'll see a light bar. And right underneath that is the backup camera. The backup camera is actually centered between two speakers on the outside. An example of when you would use that if you're camping and you want to want, and you want to listen to the radio, you can use the trucks which will allow you those allow you to utilize those speakers. Straight down from that is a Summit Hauler logo. As we come on back, it comes with a gooseneck ball and tie downs on all four corners. This truck uses the Voyager system for the backup camera. You can install and hook up two additional cameras simply by plugging them in right there. Underneath here is where you hook up the lights for your trailer. Now this bed is made of aluminum that isn't steel. So as time goes on and the truck ages, it'll look very similar to what it does today. An additional light bar located right here. As we come on around, the Summit Hauler conversion puts an additional thousand pounds of weight over that rear axle. And the reason for that is the truck isn't balanced. You can see the front end is a lot heavier than the back end. So if you find yourself in mud, uh, it also prevents hydroplaning if we're driving in a rainstorm. There's a step located right here to assist us in getting up and into that bed. And the storage component, as you can see, that's not shut off, that's no, it's not connected. So it's one big storage area in the front of that bed. As we open the passenger seat, this passenger side, 
Again, you'll see how much room is involved. Plus one add-on that the previous owner had, put an additional TV screen in right above the passenger. In addition, we have access to the cab air filters right under there. From the ground, we can get a shot of the DVD player. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Okay, the truck comes with a CB radio located right here. Now the backup camera is actually located right above us. So a lot of my customers leave that on all the time. So you can see what's coming up behind you by simply looking straight up. So you really never have to take your eyes very far off the windshield. As we come on down, aftermarket Alpine stereo was installed. These are for the windows. We can set our cruise control right here intermittent marker lights located right here as mentioned this is an automatic transmission so you can r for reverse right now we're in neutral with the brake on or d for drive mirror heaters located right here this locks the differential this is the air dump so you can actually let air out of the back of the truck when you go to hook up your trailer climate control located right here this is the trailer brake. In addition, an inverter was installed right here. As we take a look at the dash, we notice that it comes with two air pressure gauge markers. So the top one is a primary one, and that is strictly for brakes. The bottom one has a little bit of brake too, but also monitors that the air level on other things for instance the cab the seats all of that is monitored right there as we come on over air right there our oil right here water temperature there and transmission right there this is the engine brake located right here now it's if it's in the middle it is off you can put that on high or down is low an example of when you would use that if you do have a heavy trailer behind you and you're coming down a steep decline, you can set that <coughs> to high, which will assist you in slowing down. <coughs> this truck is stock number 5U220230. Any other questions, please feel free to give me a call. 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.